If you have a problem with your Quest controller like I did, with my right controller, I push the joystick forward, no problem. The left controller, I'm pushing the joystick forward, nothing. See, it comes and goes, pushing it forward. There we go, now, now it's working, and now watch, if I start slightly turning it left, now it cut out. The thumbstick was kind of glitchy. Something happened and like, for example, I would play Pavlov and press forward on the thumbstick to go forward and it would go and stop and go and stop, but it would be like extremely glitchy. I thought maybe it was a firmware problem. It turns out it was a hardware issue and I'll show you how to fix that. All right, it turns out that all you have to do is get some of this. It's uh, WD contact cleaner specialist quick drying it's for electrical stuff not your wd normal stuff it, it, it's specifically for electrical contacts and what i did is i opened it up i sprayed it into the thumbstick moved the thumbstick all around and i did this for a little bit and i did that for a couple minutes i did that twice and i moved the thumbstick all around back and forth back and forth pushed it in and did this quite a bit. Uh, I ended up doing that twice and then I let it dry for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I used an air compressor. Somebody on Reddit told me that they were using a, I think, comp they said compressed air, I think. Uh, I just use a, an air compressor and I say, I say that because if you get a can of compressed air, you got to be careful. Sometimes when you spray it, like stuff comes out of it. So you want to make sure it's just air and not like the frozen stuff coming out of it. And I sprayed it on there and um, with my air compressor. And then it worked just brand new, like new. I was on the phone with Oculus support and they told me that they thought it was a firmware issue. Turns out it's not a firmware issue. It was just a problem with a thumbstick. I've never had that happen on the Quest 1. Hopefully these are a little bit more durable, but if you guys wanna know, I will put a link in the video description to this cleaner. Um, I'll put a link to Amazon. I actually got this at Walmart. There's two Walmarts where I live. One of them was all sold out and the other one thankfully had uh, some of this left, but apparently it's going quickly. It was only like, it was on sale for six and a half bucks. So that's where I got it uh, on Walmart, Amazon. I think it might be more like 10 to 12 bucks. I'll put the links in the video description. If you have any questions, let me know. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Thanks.